and welcome back. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Today I thought I'd go ahead and pretty much get ready for nothing. Pretty self-explanatory um, with lockdown. I think we've been on lockdown for a couple of weeks now, even though it feels longer and it feels horrible. I say that just because I have pretty much ran out of things to do. So, I mean, we shouldn't feel bad though because we're all at home and I think we're better off being in our homes rather than some random place somewhere else. We got our bed, we got our food, we got our freaking clothes. We just, we have our little humble abode and we shouldn't feel bad about that because this is probably the best place we get to be, so. Anyways, today I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup pretty much. Like I said, I ran out of things to do, so I thought, why not play with makeup? I bought a few palettes and haven't really touched them, so I thought, why not, you know? So if that's something you're interested in seeing, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up right now and keep on watching. Okay, so first things first. You should be at home, stupid car, but anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and put this hair up because it's always easier to do my makeup when my hair is up rather than when it is down and everywhere. For foundation, I think I want to switch it up and go back to the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This one is the one that I originally started off with um, before I started buying myself makeup. I would use Debbie's makeup and she had Maybelline Fit Me. This one is shade 220 which is natural beige. As much as I love this foundation, guys compared to my Too Faced foundation that I bought. I really love this one. Sorry, it's kind of like has freaking powder everywhere. But anyways, compared to Too Faced, I really love how the Femi foundation leaves my face looking rather than this one. For some reason, this one is just very like, it's just so different and it feels kind of different now that I think about it. This one just feels like perfect. And then it has that good finish at the end and oh my god look at me I'm talking like if I'm a freaking makeup guru which I'm not yeah but as much as I love this one I don't wear it much anymore at the end of it as soon as I take off my makeup it brings a whole bunch of acne to my face this one not as much though like I don't really care for this one but after you know it's I take it off like my face doesn't break out as much as it does with this one today I'm pretty much saying screw it and I'm gonna go ahead and change it up because you guys have pretty much been seeing me put this one on since I bought it so fit me foundation it is okay so just gonna dump this on oh always get the timing wrong I need a mirror before I even start anything okay I'll just go ahead and use this for a mirror Oh, what am I doing? I forgot. I bought myself a primer, so I'll put that on first. So I bought this Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus primer. It's mattifying and pore reducing, whatever that means. <laughs> I know mattifying, but I mean pore reducing. I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of words I don't know, okay? This is what it looks like. I got this at Target, and honestly, like, I just saw it, and I grabbed it. I didn't even, like, actually shop. I was just like, oh, look, a primer. I should get a primer and I just grabbed it. I'm gonna uh, put that all over my face because I don't want just one specific spot to be photo ready. I want everything to be photo ready. I think I'm gonna take pictures once I finish this makeup look. So, that little amount. Probably shouldn't be that much, but whatever. And then I'm gonna just put that all over my face. Oh, that feels like that was a lot. Probably shouldn't have put that much on. I don't know. Is there a specific amount? I have no idea. Okay, that feels like it's about right about in there you know what i mean okay so this feels like it's set all right moving on going back to foundation now i can put it on oh it's spilling and with this foundation i feel like it matches my skin tone i don't know why i paused there i feel like it matches my skin tone more than the Too faced does i feel like the Too faced is a little darker that when i put it on it makes me look orange kind of and i don't like that I don't like it. This one actually like blends into my skin. It makes me feel like it's still me. <laughs> if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but it's okay. Also, if you hadn't noticed, I am pretty much sitting in the middle of my room on the floor. One day I was trying to take pictures in my room 
and this just seemed like the best spot to do it I mean the lighting is okay and it's actually kind of comfortable so this probably will be the new filming area for me I don't know it just feels comfortable to me something different other than what you guys have been seeing lately I don't know it was just a thought that came up as soon as I sat down here and decided to film I was like hey that's not a bad idea also can I tell you guys how much I have been loving my camera like I've had it for a few months now and it's quite incredible like I've been loving the quality that it films in and you know it's not difficult to use thank goodness not that it would matter because I would learn anyway I don't know I just really like it I feel like it was a good purchase that I made just to remind you guys the camera that I have is the Canon EOS M200 and she is pretty and white and just wonderful so anyways what have you guys been up to comment down below how you've been handling this lockdown have you been enjoying it have you been hating it do you feel like you're caged up or something i don't know just comment anything down below because i'm very curious to know Alrighty, so now that the foundation is on, now we're gonna switch over to concealer. And the concealer that I have been using is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I actually started using this one because of Debbie. Like I said in the beginning before I started putting on makeup and even thinking about buying myself makeup, this is the one that I would use. The only thing is that the shade that she has is a little darker. I think and this one is 360 cashmere I believe she had cashew was that dark or light I don't know So I'm going to go ahead and put this under my under eye, <laughs> under my under eye, no, on my under eye area because lord knows this freaking lockdown has been messing up my sleep schedule so bad. Literally now I go to sleep almost midnight and this is every night, go to sleep at midnight and then I wake up at like 10 or 11 which is pretty different for me because ever since school finished I have been waking up at like 8 or 9 and it stood with me even when I was working like I didn't really have a sleep schedule like to wake up early but I still woke up early and now that I have nothing to do I have just been sleeping so terribly it's not okay so my moral of this is my under eyes really need the concealer so Okay, note to self, don't close this tightly next time. I'm like sitting crisscross right now and I feel like the worst thing about sitting crisscross is my feet getting numb. I hate it. I hate it when it gets numb because when I was growing up, guys, okay, as you guys know, I'm the baby of the family. All of my siblings are older than me and there's some things that come with being the last of the family. Like, since I am the youngest, there was a lot that I had to do. <laughs> So the worst thing that I had to do was sit on the floor of the car because we didn't fit because it's six of us and you guys know that cars generally are just five seaters and you know with a family of six it just it it does not go together so I was that extra one and I needed to sit on the floor. So I spent a lot of my time on the car floor that my feet would get so numb and it wasn't even one foot it was both of them and sometimes it would be at the same time that they would get so numb I would cry because it hurt like it bugged so bad it was the worst thing ever and it was always like my feet would get numb when we got to where we were going and I had to get off the car that's when my feet were like okay let's just die and just let her suffer while she tries to get out this car so it made it so much worse oh man I hated that I am so glad I don't have to do that anymore because it was a literal nightmare guys 
Then I switch hands because, I don't know, for some reason my left hand just isn't comfortable working on my right side of the face, so. Anybody else do their makeup with two hands? Cause that is me, honey. I've tried doing my makeup with just my left hand and it never works out. My left hand touches the right side of my face and it's like, it has no idea what it's doing. So when it comes to doing my makeup, it's pretty interesting if you ask me. Because I don't think there is a makeup artist that I have seen on Facebook, Facebook, on YouTube, that switches their hands like that. So it's pretty cool. It is so hard to do my makeup because I have like this chunk of baby hairs right here that just doesn't want any makeup on it so it's just saying screw you you're not getting near me okay anyway now that concealer is set time for the brows so i'm gonna go ahead and take my suavecita eyebrow pomade in dark brown my literal best friend i freaking love this product love how it leaves my brows they look so smooth it's not even funny oh look my father's calling hello Okay, getting Winnie Land. That's cool. All right, moving on. Got my brows. So with my Suavecita eyebrow pomade, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Suavecita S206 eyebrow brush. It's so cute, isn't it? I'm gonna give you guys a little montage time lapse sort of deal because I cannot do my brows quick. It does take some time because my brows like to be interesting sometimes. Oh, never mind this. This isn't working. I'll, I'll be back. Okay, so I am back and brows are done. This is the end result after being here for a little while. I don't know how people do it. Also, I have my food now. I just got some mini corn dogs. But I don't know how people do it to do their eyebrows in one sitting and, you know, do it no problem. I mean, obviously, it's probably practice makes perfect or whatever, but I'm not there. So I spend like a good 20 minutes or so trying to do these freaking brows because I want them to be neat. And even right now, I think that they're decent, but I don't think that they're the best. So. so now I'm going to add some warmth to my face because my face right now looks as if I were nauseous, a lot of pale. So I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. contour palette. This one is a light medium, I believe. So then I'm going to go ahead and take these two bottom shades down here and warm this face up. So I'm going to take my Luxie 504 large angled brush and use that for Le Contour. So again, just dabbing. I am so glad that landed on my legs and not the floor. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to take the two bottom shades, just dab it in there and just contour away. All this hair freaking... All this hair is trying to come out. Now I gotta redo this thing. So frustrating. That better? That's better. That's a whole lot better. Oh yes, there we go, baby. I guess that forehead is specially. This is another thing that I have to do with my right hand because my left hand ends up not having a freaking clue of what to do. Then we add some to the bottom as well. Bottom I don't really care, just as long as there's some kind of warmth down there, that's all that matters. Trying to put it on my nose. I don't know why. I don't think it does anything, but I just feel like, why not? Alrighty. Now that we got the warmth, we can go ahead and jump into these freaking palettes. I'm gonna have a wiener before I begin. Honestly guys, it has gotten to the point where I'm even tired of eating every day. Like, this is my second meal, I guess you could say. The first, I just had a sandwich. A turkey and cheese sandwich with some hot Cheetos. And that was like two hours ago. It's, it's 4.40 right now, so I ate like two hours ago. Like around two, I think. So it's like, pretty much it's gotten to the point where I don't even want to eat anymore. Like, I'm not hungry, and it's obviously that's not a good thing because I should be eating, I should be getting hungry, but it's just, at this point, I'm just tired of it. Like, I'm tired of eating every day, I'm tired of eating out, I'm tired of eating here in the house. I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. So, pretty much, I'm 
trying to force myself to eat. That way I can at least have my three meals a day sort of deal going on. Sometimes I just finish the day off with two meals and that's it. So, mm, I don't know which palette I want to use. To refresh you guys' memory, I went ahead and got a few palettes from ColourPop and I pretty much got the ColourPop and Disney collab. So I have the Villains palette, Misunderstood. I have the Disney Designer Collection palette. And then I have the Disney Masquerade palette. I kind of want to jump into this one just because the palette itself is pretty and I really like the colors in this palette. I think that they're pretty cute. This is the designer palette. These are the colors for it. Has more neutrals if anything. And then Misunderstood has quite some color in it but mostly has shimmers in it. So I don't know. This is where I'm just like, okay, what should I combine together? What's going to look nice? What's not going to look dumb, you know? So. Give me a second, I'll see you guys when I got this stuff figured out, okay? Okay. Okay guys, so I finally figured out what I'm gonna do. Um, I already did my other eyes, so pretty much gonna get into this. So I decided to go ahead and use my Midnight Masquerade palette and my Misunderstood Villain palette. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and take my Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush and I'm going to jump into my Midnight Masquerade palette and take the shade Gaston, which is this color right here. I'm just going to dab it in a little bit because it does give out a lot of product and I'm going to just start blending it out on the top portion up here and work my way throughout the rest of the eye. Just gonna stamp it everywhere and then slowly but surely start blending it out like so. And see, this was just with a couple of dabs into the shade. If I were to do more, I would have given out so much more product. We wanna, I wanna make sure that I'm doing this slowly, baby step wise. Make a little tail out here and just start blending away. Before I get more product, I wanna just make sure I blend everything that is on the brush onto my eyelid. Then I'm gonna grab a little more of Gaston and then just place that over the eyelid. And just keep on blending, blending, blending. Now I'm not putting too much pressure on the brush, lightly blending it in. And then with the excess of the product, just gonna blend that on the lash line area, lower lash line. Okay, so now that Gaston is marked, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my Villains palette. And I'm gonna take the shade Flotsam right here and just dab it with my finger. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put that on the eyelid portion and just build it up there. I'm gonna just stamp it on and then work my way around the whole eyelid. You obviously can't see it much, so for this one I did have to keep on dabbing it and stamping it. I actually made sure to get like enough product of this one. So I can just go ahead and stamp it on and get that lid going. Ew, why do my voice sound like that? Isn't it a pretty color, kind of? So it's gonna look like so. Alrighty, so now that Flotsam is on, I'm gonna go ahead and take my tapered blending brush and I'm just gonna brush Gaston all around Flotsam just to kind of darken it up a bit, kind of make it a little more concrete, if we'll say. I'm gonna kind of blend it like in an upside down direction with the brush facing down instead, see if that does anything. So now I'm just going to use the excess again and just blend that on the lower lash line all around. Okay, so now that both of the colors are set, I'm going to go ahead and jump back into my Midnight Masquerade palette. And I'm going to take the shade Frog and Wife, which is this green shade right here, green shimmery shade. And then with my pinky, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much put that on the inner corner of my eye just to give it that little pop of color, like so. I kind of felt like it was just fun to add a completely different shade in the eye, make it a little more fun, if you will. <laughs> Alrighty, now that the green is set, once again, gonna go ahead and blend out Gaston 
right near where the green is. So now for the fun part, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner in the color black, and I'm just gonna do a winged liner. Nothing too crazy. I guess what makes it crazy is that I'm gonna do it with one hand, and that's kind of a challenge, so let's just see how it goes. So not so bad. Dang, look at that, I did it. Okay, so then jumping into my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. You already know what's about to happen. Gotta get those lashes to where I need them to be. And then I'm gonna finish them off with a falsie. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Suavecita False Lash in Sugar Plum, I believe. We're gonna finish this eye look with the falsie. I actually have to buy more lashes, guys. These ones I have used so much already, and they're just, they're getting old. So I gotta shop for some more false lashes. Probably gonna get me another pair of these from Suavecita, and then some more lashes from Suavecita because they're actually pretty cute. it down so it does glue in that area yay lashes on how freaking cute is that lash guys i love it it's like simple but yet it like goes crazy out here it's so cute reminds me of a fairy lash kind of Perfect! Oh, I love that. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if I want to do lipstick or not. I feel like the eyes pretty much speak for themselves. I will put some chapstick on though because that's literally what I need. Nope, you know what I'm going to do just for today, just for this video. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use a lip gloss and four lip gloss. I think I'm just going to use the one from Elsa's side. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. This one is called Mystic Journey. And I wanna say it's like pretty much a clear yet kind of shimmery looking lip, lip gloss. I was gonna say lipstick. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So it's just for today. I am not a fan of lip gloss, guys. If you guys didn't know, I cannot stand it. Ooh, that's a lot. Literally, I just think to myself, why like lip gloss when you can like lipstick that is matte and you don't have to worry about reapplying or anything like that. Okay, that's that's that, that's what's gonna happen, okay? Sorry, I sounded like a scratch record, but couldn't figure out what to say. I guess the lipstick, lip gloss counts today. Jesus Christ, see? That's how you know I don't like lip gloss. I can't even say the damn word without mistaking it for lipstick. Okay, finishing it off, I'm gonna take my Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in number 250 from Maybelline. Cannot go a day without spilling something. Anyways, I'm going to take my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. This guy right here. Pack this stuff on. Just a little here. I can kind of taste this lip gloss, not gonna lie. I honestly don't care if I'm packing this on. I don't really care. I'm gonna add a little here and a little there. We're just, we're gonna pop all over, okay? Okay. And then a little on the nose. A little down here as well. Okay guys, so that basically concludes today's video. This is the end result. I am actually pretty impressed with myself that I came up with this. It took a while, but I ended up getting it done. I feel like, personally, eyeliner always makes a makeup look better. And then, obviously, there's other looks that they don't need eyeliner, but for me, I always need eyeliner to complete a look. So, best friend came through, and this is what this is what we got so oh i actually really like that <laughs> so this chatty get ready with me for nothing turned into a little makeup tutorial 
hope that's okay I don't know it kind of took a turn whatever either way I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up I would really appreciate that don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I'm not here I am over there please stay safe guys stay home let's all just get through this I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video bye